All right, chat, here we go. The, the Lars trailer. After so much time, who's left? By the way, who is left? Do we have Jack? Jack's like the only one left, right? Oh, in June. Oh, Jesus, that's right. We have not an official trailer on June yet. Peggy 16. 16 Peggy. Really taking that Elden Ring to heart. We're gonna blind you at any at any point. We we we, we will just blind you. We are Bamco. The Akuma trailer. I'm not sold on your costume, Lars. I'm not. But damn. He looks way different. Lightning boots? That's the old classic. That was weird. Damn. God damn. God damn. Okay, so he's this lightning guy. <laughs> they gave him back to the future boots. Okay. All right. Okay. Heat stuff. Heat, heat kick. Ooh, that goes a lot faster. The stomp usually took a while before, right? Wow. Lightning shoulder. What? What's happening? I don't know what any of this shit is. We're gonna have to look at this trailer after I play Tekken 7 again. Learn what Lars does. Dude, uh, Lars became the Hoe Cage. <laughs> Lars became the Hoe Kage, uh, the, sorry, the Hoe Cage, the proper uh, pronunciation. He became the Hoe Cage. He has a super anime super? Excuse me? What? Does this bitch turn into lightning? Yeah, they went all in that he's lightning now, right? They went all in. He had some lightning attacks before. Jesus! All right. All right. This shit. This shit. This bitch just went 88 miles per hour and traveled through time. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> all right. The super is from Naruto. No shit. It's Chidori super. I don't know what that is. <laughs> He's got an ultimate jutsu. I know what that is. It's got the Buji no jutsu. Cool. <laughs> um, I think his face looks so much better too. God damn. Ah, blinded. Why? So Lars did have a few lightning-y things in old iterations between like six to seven. I don't remember him having a ton, right? I don't remember that being like a defining element of the character. He had some, he had some lightning things, but not a ton. And it feels like they just went ham, right? His hair is still stupid, but you'll be able to change it, right? As long as you can change it, that's fine. It's kind of dope. I think it's kind of sick that they made him all lightning imbued and shit like that. Here's the son of Heihachi. Right, I get it. Like electric. You don't see electric things and lightning all over the place in the other Mishimas. This dude's got it on his fucking feet and shit, bro. Like, there's some whippy zippy bullshit in here. I tell you what. Where's the whippy zippy bullshit? Look at this, look at this shit. This guy is running across the floor and he's leaving trails. Is this dynamic entry, silent entry, something like that? The trail shit on dynamic entry, I think is fucking dope. He's not Heihachi's son, but a descendant. I don't give a shit. <laughs> this is great. Damn, this shit is, I mean, I get it. He's always had that. He's always been like, like, I'm fast as f boy in, in previous games, but it feels like even quicker now. Hold on a second. Where's this? Like, he has like a shimmy. God damn, what the fuck? This is wild. Oh, this is kind of interesting. You reel back in animation from the explosion? I'm always missing it. Shit. Oh, oh that's kind of cool, right? That's kind of cool. 
he is his son, damn it. You guys are still on the fact that he's Heihachi's son? I don't care who his father is. I heard that uh, Heihachi and Devil Jin had a baby. The lineage of the Mishimas is so fucked that they had a baby together, and it was Lars. That's what I heard. That's what Harada told me. I need to watch this again. Let me go back to the start. I'm definitely liking the lightning feet shit, right? I'm thinking this guy and, and Jin are easily the two that I am probably the most fascinated with, like, nutty gameplay-wise and, uh, and just initial character roster fascination, right? And the visuals look a lot better. Like, a lot better. I almost wish this popped up. Maybe when he's in rage mode. We haven't even seen, like, what gets amplified when he's in, uh, rage drive. I almost wish that that, if you're in rage mode, acted as, like, a pop-up, like a bound or some shit. Damn, the background. I don't think we've ever seen... What the hell is this Call of Duty 4 stage? I don't know if we've actually seen this yet. This side? Maybe it was, uh... Maybe it was... Updated? I don't know. Hell yeah, the old counter hit. So... Is his orbital good? I don't know if his orbital's good. Lars, I remember his orbital being only okay. It's not bad. It's fine. Alright, it's fine. Like 20 frames or something like that? Damn, that's an ender? Ooh. Ooh, scrub killer, that's fine. It's safe on block? Really? His orbital's actually safe on block? It's minus nine? Wow, that's good. Who's got another, like, really classic orbital? Brian. Yeah, Br Brian's orbital is, is also generally kind of safe, right? Orbitals in general are safe. What's orbital? Kind of like a jumping kick attack that has a big, like, arcing, spinning kick animation to it, uh, is generally an orbital. Uh, and the gimmick of it is that it's a jumping, like, like, spinning kick where it's like the, uh, the orbit of the Earth type shit. It also low crushes, so it will beat lows when you jump over it, and we're literally seeing an example of that right here. Uh, jumping over lows. It's great if you know people are going to be going for lows and stuff like that, and it will result in, like, big combo. I really don't remember his combo structure. I'm curious if this is, like, familiar stuff or really new. The lightning shit is great. Yeah, good Oki, though. Isn't Lars historically, like, the Oki god, right? He's always up your ass. Uh, because of whatever the, from neutral, you do entry. I don't know if that's silent or dynamic. I can't remember. Isn't he always like close to and, and completely like a mix-up character from close range? Maybe I'm thinking of older versions. Not as much. It's kind of meh in Tekken 7. I see. I see. So that's an activator. Jesus, dude, this shit is fucking awesome. Almost every character thus far looks really crazy. Yes. Yes. Uh, it, it, it looks like this is the nuttiest version of Tekken since Tek Tekken Tag 2. And Tag 2 has got a lot of fun, wild shit in it, but there was too much, right? Things that disrupt the natural footsies and natural, you know, punishment pressure of my game. You know, Tekken Tag 2 was the most disruptive of any of them. That shit is awesome. Hang on a sec, all this lightning horse shit. So that's blocked, right? This looks like it's hella plus on block, maybe? And uh, when you're in heat mode, this nutty ass low attack has a big ol' follow-up and it looks amazing. Holy shit. Yeah, Lars has always had the flashiest shit, right? Like, uh, I'd say that the flashiest character pre-Noctis was 100% Lars. All the weird anime guys in this game doing nutty, flashy, weeby shit. I kind of am loving it. 
All right, hang on a sec. We're watching it in slow motion. Yeah, they put him in an Naruto game a long time ago. That was that was like Tekken six days, right? Oh, this guy turns into a bolt of lightning. Wow. Wow, Tekken. Tekken eight wants to be fun, right? This game wants to be fun. We wanna we wanna have fun with all this wild shit, and that's fun. Jesus. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. I think I'm definitely going to be either hovering around Jin or Lars. My perspective is super jacked on Lars, where I don't really know how he's conducted himself for the couple of games now. And, uh, I'm just confused. I'm just confused and intrigued. It looks cool, that's for sure.